Greetings, Keisha Langs. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 76. Alrighty, um, we, we've got an, as the title and everything, I forgot what Niflheim meant. <laughs> uh, so we got a raging Niflheim ripping off demon heads. Nice. Um, let's see where we go from there. Okay, um, Evil Tristan is, uh, interesting. What does it say? A furious gaze steeped in black. Faced with the great evil that, uh, trampled upon Isole's feelings, Tristan finally unleashes the demon clan's power. The title is Descent. Alrighty. Ha! Huh? How dare you? She can still talk, even though her head's been ripped off. Okay. Damn. The, r the rest of the body goes to attack, but he's just like, you energy ball. And then tosses her aside. Silence, you decoration. What? Oh. <laughs> Damn. That's some viscera right there. Tristan, you really are incredible. Incredible! <laughs> oh, the little, the little Percy's. Um, that form, what is it? That's his majesty's son for you. I know what should be feared is the demon clan's power. Damn that, Tristan. What did he mean, the time he can use that is limited? Well, you woke up. <laughs> um, well, I mean, he probably doesn't have full control over both sides, so... Or at least the demon clan. So that's probably why he needs an equally powerful person, such as Lancelot, to kind of probably knock him out of it. Okay, while well they're talking with the demon language, what is this cobra head doing? Here comes an attack, hmm? What are those stains? Oh, God. She's resurrecting the dead. Um, what, what, what are all those hands? They're hands of the dead. Wait, why does the mini person know that? They're gonna drag everyone to the underworld. Or other world. Oh, okay. Good. Wait, why is... Oh, yeah, I, for, I was about to say, why is Hawks there? But it was like, no, that's the one that has a helmet shaped like him. So all the holy knights are kind of like being f just grabbed and grappled. Hmm. Stop, I can't resist. Hades Supper. Okay. Tristan doesn't really seem to be phased by all the hands that are reaching for him and slowly wrapping around his face. Well, I'll be annihilated. Sir Tristan! And that kind of snapped him out of him and he just kind of like, power. The hands can't even seem to attack, hmm? Wait, 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 wait. They, they fully receded it. Okay. I guess because he's like a superior demon. Hmm. Also finding out that I forgot to refill this before I recorded. So no liquid refreshment for me. And oh god, he's about to rip the, the freaking snake part off. Okay. Gee. <laughs> it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I beg of you, please stop. All right. Well, actually, it said all right, but I don't, well, never mind. Fuck that. He did it anyway. But why? You said you'd stop. I told you. I can't control myself when this happens. I can't believe it. That boy was more afraid to use that power than anything. It's not that strange. Oh, so Meliodas and Elizabeth are... Are coming to aid, or at least Meliodas is. Hmm. Tristan has friends he can put his absolute trust in now. Meliodas, where are you going? I can't s just sit around, not as king or as a dad. Oh. Also, the emblem kind of. Like, there's something about this uh, coat of arms that is vaguely reminding me of something, but I'm not quite sure. 
Okay, so the demon body's still just raging about even though two parts of it have just been ripped off. Tristan is uh, very easily dealing with this thing, evading all of its attacks, and seemingly dealing no damage, just to off the rapid slash, like, oh my god, I'm bleeding everywhere. And it falls over dead. He did that on his own, an enemy none of us combined could compete against. Tr Tristan, you, you can change back now. Stay back. I can't change back so easily. This is the price for using this power. Well done. What? Who said that? Where's that voice coming from? It's ringing right in my head. Hmm. I got to see a good show firsthand before making my assessment. Truly miraculous, to tell you the truth. I underestimated you until I saw you with my own eyes. Wait, is this Arthur by chance? Because we're getting, like, rock manipulation. What's going on? Such a bad girl, Gowan. What? Running away without permission. How worried did you think your big stepbrother would be? Big step brother. Okay, so I guess technically Arthur isn't. Is he talking about you? This is bad. He's my uncle. What? So it is Arthur. We aren't dreaming, are we? How divine. There's a staircase materializing out of all the garbage and debris. A staircase of revel stretching into the sky? And then the sky draws dark. And then it draws light. And that's a long ass staircase. Don't want to have to walk it. Make a fucking escalator. It's a stairway to heaven. Or is it a highway to hell? Hmm. Anyway. I thought I'd say hello to you in person at least once. To the four youngsters in the omen. Former King Bartrasaw. That man is... As for the power of those four knights of the apocalypse, I also came to find out if it was truly enough to destroy me and my eternal kingdom, and I bet it has proven no. It can't be. Please forgive me. Enter the mastermind. Our enemy, the ruler of Camelot. Arthur Pendragon. That guy is Arthur of Camelot? <laughs> that guy is Ironside's king that guy is why my grandpa is aww uh oh so Percy just flies off Percival give me back my grandpa I mean he kinda could do that hey you must be Ironside's boy ah <laughs> could you save it for later and just kinda wax him away what the fu oh damn Stop going after him as usual. Change of plans. So they're strategizing. The first one I want to test is you, Prince Tristan. Son of our nemesis, Leonis is king and his queen. I will give you your requiem here. King of Chaos. Okay, so Tristan is coming in with overhead slash. I mean, he's in his most powerful current form right now so we'll see if this actually does anything I doubt it Tristan versus Arthur next issue the clash the title is a king's authority hmm the four knights of the apocalypse is a uh, arch enemy Arthur Pendragon descends to the land of Leonis so why was it called ascent if he descended or was it Descent, and I'm just being dumb? I'm probably just being dumb, aren't I? I'm... Yeah, I was dumb. How unusual. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, but yeah, overall, not a horrible chapter. We're at least getting some plot progression with Arthur coming into play. You know, now that the uh, all the knights are in one place, they've been fighting... And apparently it was all part of an assessment on Arthur's part to see their respective powers. Though, has he seen Lancelot's power? I assume not. Uh, 
thank God that Meliodas is coming in to the area, so we'll have to wait and see what he can do against Arthur. I assume that's probably going to happen after Tristan gets um, kind of just tossed aside, much like Percival did, so... Hmm... But also, yeah, getting to see more of Tristan's, like, demonic side. He's mostly only used, like, the the goddess side of things. So him getting to use more of the demonics. Demonics? It's like ebonics, but demonics. Anyway, um, but yeah, him getting to use his demon clan heritage is about what I expected but there's a bit more like bloodthirsty nature and you know just brutality more so than I would have thought given you know that he's only half demon so hmm but yeah I get, and apparently he can't turn it off can turn it on but can't turn it off you know there's a short circuit in in the matrix I guess but hmm and I assume Lancelot will uh, just like knock him out of it, but huh. but anyway, overall, like I said, not too bad of a chapter. Progressing the plot, we're getting to see um, like the power difference between the knights and Arthur. I mean, we already knew Arthur is like a the chaos king. And seemingly has reality warping powers to the nth degree. So, I mean, he created his own goddamn kingdom in the middle of nothing. Mm, excuse me. So, yeah. Safe to assume he's definitely more powerful than he probably was before the time skip. Um, or the in the previous series so yeah don't really hold out much for the kids <laughs> and yeah I think that's about it I can't really think of anything else uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this anything I missed misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content see what you like suggest things for the future Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and help ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet it out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, futurelings. Arthur's gonna kick some kitty butts. I assume next chapter. Unless Maliota steps up.